What's going on guys? Welcome back to another uh, Guilds of Ravnica draft here on YouTube. So, uh, here we are. Here we are. So, uh, oh, I think we're taking Midnight Reaper. He's a Midnight Reaper. Sure don't love with anyone. Uh, I like Integrity Intervention. Command the Storm is good. Crater Crater Maker is good. There's a lot of good red cards in this pack, but Midnight Reaper is pretty good. Also, as the, one of the only black cards in this pack that's relevant, we should be good on black. I legit just put that hey sound as my message beep tone. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Uh, well, considering the GP is sealed, uh, I don't really have a choice. I do not get a choice as to what I would play. Uh, Luminous Bond seems great here. We could take the Arboretum Elemental. Or we can just take like a bad card. I think it's, eh, it's probably just Luminous Bonds. I don't want to commit to this guy. And we could just be like, oh, Justice Strike. That's one of the best removal spells in the in the world plus it puts us in uh, in the Boros this is a third pick Justice Strike's pretty nice yeah I'm gonna take the Justice Strike for justice I'm gonna take this Smelt Ward Minotaur as well now I can kill your dude and come at ya come at me bro and unfortunately both uh, Orzov and Rakdos are not in this format so there's not gonna be any support for this guy if we if we do go if we do go red. My friend Butt Butt Trophy would argue with you on that. I have no idea what that even... What, what does that even mean? I want to take this Parhelion Patrol now. Eh, Boros Locket. These, these picks are not super exciting, but they are cornerstones. Like, this, these guys are cornerstones of the Boros deck, so it's fine. This is more of an is it card. I mean, not just because of Jumpstart, but because you have uh, cards that can significant power buffs. Eh, whatever, lock it. It's fine. Boros Smildgate. Could just take Shieldmate. Shieldmates and Guildgates. Hmm. I think it's probably this. I don't care about Guildgate. Oh, I like a Hammer Dropper, though. I also like Demotion. I think Demotion's pretty good. Why not Celestia get to Splash Nye? Because I have no reason to do that yet. I'd rather take play. I'm going to play everything I've taken so far. And this is also pretty decent to just refill your hand in the Boros deck later in the game. I'll take Hammer Dropper. Also, Watcher in the Mist is nice. But again, there's no Azorius. There is... Is it? Hmm... Hmm. I'm just take hammer dropper. I'm gonna take the car. Oh wow! The command came back. The crater maker came back. The rubble belt board came back. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I'm probably just gonna take command the storm. Actually, I'll probably take the crater maker. We can get more command the storms, but solid two drops are just good. Yeah, I'm gonna take the crater maker. Eh, Guildgate. Okay. I'll take a gateway plaza just in case. Oh, oh, another one. I'm going to take the take card here. Gravitic Punch. Sure. I mean, on a Hammer Dropper, it's actually just fine. Turn 8, you can deal 10 damage if you have a Gravitic Punch and one other card in hand. Yeah, this pack wasn't great, but I don't think we've had a uh, very... M I don't think we had other options, really. Explosion, expansion, huh? Also, inescapable blaze. I like inescapable blaze here. I also like explosion, but I don't think we're in a position to start. 
Like, we can just take this. Six damage is six damage. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know how this wheels. I mean, it basically says to me that no other person is in red because this is just a solid 2-2 two, two for 2. I want to take Blaze. It's very good. Uh, None of these cards. I'm going to actually... I can splash for Indric. We have a Gateway Plaza. I think we can probably get a Guild Gate or two. I think this card is strong enough to splash. It's basically just like a Shriek Maul. But a 4-4 four, four is just huge. Maybe we do just go in for the the Naya here, because this guy is very good. I think it's probably better than a second Smelt Ward Minotaur. I actually like Bodyguard a lot more than some people. Uh, I think Bodyguard's pretty good, especially with any of your two drops. And I don't think it's that particularly difficult to uh, to get him to attack or block. You're probably not going to be doing a ton of blocking in the in the Bodyguard deck anyway. Oh, Amara? Okay, well, the Celestia is definitely open, and there's nothing else in white or red here. Yeah, we're taking Amara for sure. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe we're just splashing the red. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe it does. Wow, that's a that's an integrity intervention, all right. Definitely taking that. Boros Guild Gate would be nice because it allows us to play another forest if we want to. Boros Challenger, okay, and another Luminous Bonds. Good lord, I think this card's way more relevant for the strategy. Luminous Bonds is great, but we have a solid amount of removal. We have a Luminous Bonds. Inter uh, intervention, Inescapable Blaze, Affectionate Indric, and Justice Strike. <laughs> so I think we're taking the Challenger. And another Justice Strike. It's going to be one of those days again, guys. Going to be one of those Boros days, apparently. Good lord. Uh, I don't care about you. I actually like Restore way more than most people. I think a 3-4 body in this format is very, very good. And the 4 life is often not irrelevant when there are decks like... Boros and is it that are trying to burn you out? I don't care about Garrison Sergeant. And I'm not going to play Iron Shell Beetle if we're just splashing the green, even though we do have an Amara. Getting like two creatures out of an Amara off of Convoke is fine, or just attacking with her is fine. So I'm not too concerned with the fact that she is a two drop. This is not the guild gate we want. I'll take a crushing canopy for the sideboard, though. That is also a late fine broker. What is that, an eighth pick fine broker? <laughs> Iron Beetle and Iron Chef Sammy. I don't think I don't think they've ever been in the same room together. That's a good question. That is a good question. I mean, we have two splash. We have two green cards to splash. I don't think we need all the fixing. I guess it's this guy. I don't think we want another take hard. I don't care about righteous blow. Whatever. Oh, the wow! World Soul Colossus came back. That's a card I'll play. None of these are none of these are cards I care about. Oh, fresh face recruit. Okay. Celestia Guildgate nailed it. Never didn't have it. Yeah, but once they... Yeah, they might be confused by the random Tiny Frank, but once they realize it, which is probably going to be right now for those who hadn't because... Well, we just mentioned it. However... Ooh, a Pelt Collector? That guy's like a dollar, right? He should be more, but on Moto he's probably like a dollar. 
literal dollar. Could still be good, though. What, what do we take if we don't? Oh, we take Rock Charger. Yeah, we'll take a Rock Charger instead of this guy. Maybe. Yeah, I like Rock Charger a lot better, especially with cards like Hammer Dropper. Temple Garden. Oh, I hope there's nothing good in this pack. There's not really, actually, so that's pretty sweet. We just could take a Temple Garden. I would take the Rosemane Centaur, but uh, I like excuses to take to take Shocklands. God, what's Temple Garden go for? 50 cents? Oh, boy. Well, that's criminal, dude. That's criminal. Might not even be worth it. It might just be take Roseman Centaur and then like hope one of these three comes back. That's probably correct. Roseman Centaur is a big dude. Yeah, I like that better. Wow, we could have had the double explosion deck. Oh, beatings. I kind of just want to take it now. Cosmotronic Wave, I don't really care. It's fine, I'll take it. It's playable as opposed to this. Oh, all right, Response Resurgence, perfect. Just like we wanted. Yeah, this card's great. This card has been great every single time we've had it. I guess it could be Righteous Blow. Wild Ceratox seems fine. We're just adding more green to the deck. I'm not going to play a second Restore. I don't care about Righteous Blow. We have a lot of removal. It's probably just Siege Worm, but it's double green. I think we're just taking the Ceratok. Especially with Rock Charger, I think it's pretty good. Oh, Skylight Legionnaire is great. Especially with no real fixing in here. Yeah, I'm taking Skylight Legionnaire for sure. Oh, I'm on a citywide bust. I've been listening and not watching. I was really confused. I don't like change. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, Celestia Guildgate. I'm on. I'm on I'm on board. We could also take second Parhelion Patrol, but I think we have 25 playables, so I think we're good. Oh, Boros Guildgate and Gateway Plaza. So probably Boros Guildgate, because Gateway Plaza comes to play tapped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This should be our first pack. 25, 35, 38. Yeah, this is our this is our pack one. This is a lot of cards that came back. I'll take the Hypothesis? I don't know. I'll take the, the Locksmith, actually, because it's actually relevant in certain matchups. Oh, Guildgate and Gateway Plaza came back. Okay. So we could just play one of these. I don't think we need anything else here. What is this pack? All of these are playable. Holy shit. Disappearance, Dark Blade, Capture Sphere, Rat, and Guild Mage. Wow, that's crazy. This pack is ridiculous. Whew. I'll take Bodyguard. I'll take Demir Guildgate. And another one of these. All right. So, so no one's in red, black, or blue. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the impression I'm getting as well. That's very strange. I am not comfortable with that at all. I'm about to citywide bust. I mean, I make a joke about it, so I'm pretty sure... Um Alright, so we're probably cutting the Boros Locket. Probably cutting... Yeah, seems good. Um, probably cutting one Bodyguard. I don't know. Bodyguard pumps everything. I think Bodyguard's good. Blaze is good. Restore is good. Pack Beast, Rose Man. All, all these other cards are good, too. We have to cut two of them? My god. 
Let's group the creatures separately. 18 creatures, we can probably cut something stupid. I actually like Hammer Dropper, but I could see cutting it. But the fact that it... The fact that we have Rock Charger and it mentors onto everything is pretty good. I could see cutting Ceratoc. It's with Splash Color, so I don't really love it. Can you act like you were nibbling on the bit in the front of your face? The answer is yes. Omara? Yeah, I think I think Omara is fine. Like, we can Convoke, we can Convoke. Like, if you're able to get two creatures off of Mara, I think it's great. I like Locks and Armor Storer a lot. I do, I, yeah, Pack Beast is kind of meh. This is 16 creatures, I'm okay with this. What is the two drop under Mara? Just Shield Mate, 2-2 two, two Vigilance guy. Alright, this is the deck. How many tap lands do we want? I don't think we play the third Guild Gate. So this is five and five. We're definitely going down to four here. Three, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six. This is seven, seven, eight, nine, seven, seven, nine. That seems good. So these are all red and these are all green, but they're all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nine, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Three. Yeah, this seems fine. I'm good at this. Do doing it. 50 50 gray bit range I don't know what happened there I, I can't read the gray bit rain some stay dry while others feel the pain gray bit rain Do 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 what do 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 William have a good afternoon buddy I will play first Gimme them guild gates keep Snap it up Where's that turn two Amara into turn three Woyak bodyguard Bodyguard. That's not a bodyguard. I mean, a Mara guard? I don't know what I'm saying right now. I got real distracted with all the... With all the resizing. Why are you so small? Why aren't, why aren't you so small? Think about that, smart guy. <laughs> got him. Wrecked. Oh, that's rude. I wish little Frank would really speak in high-pitched voice to sell the character. Hi, guys. I'm over here in the bits. Oh, look at that wee Dragonauts. We Dragonauts. I can't do anything here, unfortunately, but next turn. Next turn, if we hit a land, we can play Restorer. We can also shoot a thing. Red Robin. Yum. 32 in Denver on Sunday? Oh, God. Oh, my God. I guess we'll take three. And be grateful that you don't have any crazy spells. Oh. Speak of the devil. Are you going to do it again? Wow. I guess I spoke too soon. You see. Uh, we can't convoke and restore if we don't get a land because it costs six and this is only five. So, you're wrong. How's it feel to be wrong?
<laughs> yes, it's a six. Yeah, it's a three, four for six that gains you four. It's totally, totally fine. It's a totally fine card. It's a totally fine card, except when they hop off the sizzle. Real mature, buddy. I'll go to 10. <laughs> Atomic Frog with the sadness. Oh. Oh, look at look who it is. Look who it is. Fashionably late to the to the woe yek party. So one, two, three. I want to justice strike this. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? I guess we're just gonna play Amara. Well, that's not how justice strike works. Now we can keep up. Oh, we need oh we need white, red, dang. We can't do everything. That's sad. Well, we can do some things, I guess. It's the good ship, a lollipop. It's the good ship, a lollipop. Lollipops, do do do. And a do 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 do. Lollipops. It's the good ship. Let that resolve. Make her big you got it crater maker crater maker maniacal rage well I'll be a biscuit you got it it's pretty good Why don't you have Why don't you have life link, Imara? Explain it to me. I don't understand. I'm trying to understand, but I don't understand. Well, you are out of range now, which is kind of sad. Get all my boys out. Why not Swift? Because we didn't have men to do that. Because we only had uh, one forest and one Boros Guild Gate, and you cannot cast the Justice Strike with a forest. I guess we're going to take it. This is what we we're hoping you'd do. <clears throat> it's a good ship. Lollipop. Did you not... Did you do... Oh, you're going to do it to her? Kill this dude. Yeah, if we're at five, I actually feel comfortable casting Integrity here. Oh, Biscuits, that was a good turn for your friends here at Hi. the Friend Authority. Fearzors, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. Oh, Valley Man, thank you so much for giving Fearzors the sub. Kerwit, 100 crush frank bits. Appreciate that as well. Well, you can see why we're going to make another guy. And we're going to bolster onto Lifey Boy. And uh, I think we're I think we're in a commanding position here, going to seven, with a blazem in hand, four twenty blazem. No blocks. Kill, <laughs> kill you like you do. Boop. <laughs> okay, we have a good time. Inescapable blaze, ladies and gentlemen, gets them every time. Oh, what happened to the bits? Oh no. Uh oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Bolsterinos. I'm just gonna do a little bolsterino on this guy. 
wonder if crushing canopy is good here. Crushing Ben Canopy. I actually like this hand. I'm going to keep it. Turn two gateway plaza is fine here. And we'll draw an Imar off the top, like you do. Oh, Skynet Legionnaire. Turn three this guy, into turn four this guy, into turn five this guy. And we got a Burnham's. Have you been eating the bits again? Mom! Yeah, but why wouldn't I save the 2-2? Like, the 2-2 is going to win me a long game, whereas, like, taking extra points from we Dragonauts is not really that big of a deal. We also didn't know they had Maniacal Rage when we chose to save the... So, I mean, like, I, I could have taken three, and, like, if you're if you're making a choice to not take... to lose your 2-2 legendary creature uh, in order to prevent three damage when you could just do that next turn is... Uh, I don't think that's the correct play at all, but... Well, this is obnoxious. I'm just going to pass here. <clears throat> We're not aggressive here. Love and Crafty, who were you before? I'm trying to think. I feel like I should know this. Yep. If they want to attack with Legion War Boss, I'll just block. If they just attack with both these guys, I'll also block. That's fine. Love and Crafty, your Fear Zors? Oh, that's going to take me a while to remember. I'll never remember this. Let's see if this resolves. Disdainful Stroke? Sure. All right. Well, this is why we didn't play the land yet. Or this is why we didn't attack first, so. Did you get any of the whole chicken from last night? Okay, well, that, that sentence was a hot mess, but I, I know what you're asking me here. Yeah, you kill this guy, obviously, and then attack for a million. Sure. <laughs> get a change on your birth certificate. Have your birth certificate changed from Fears to uh to Love and Crafty. What could go wrong? All right, well. I feel like they're being a little too aggressive for us right now, which is sad. Oh boy, they sure have it all. Disdainful Stroke, Direct Current, and Hypothesis. Lucky, 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 lucky. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we'll take seven here and go to six and probably be out of the game. What do you think is the best way to show a newbie the game? That's actually a good question. Um, yep, that forest is not going to do it. Um, are if I don't know if they still do the intro decks at like local game stores, but that's definitely one of the better ways. Cosmotronic Wave could be good if like the Legion guy gets out of hand, but I don't think it will. Yeah, the the, the Planeswalker decks are also very good. I think those are also meant to be uh, somewhat somewhat new crawl foragers is actually probably pretty good here it's got the hammer droppers for crawl foragers i also don't hate a hitch claw recluse it actually just blocks a bunch of things but Lucky, 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 lucky. Hmm. 
Uh, keep. Snap keep. Uh, I'm in the bit jar, buddy. Excuse you. I like it. No, sir. I don't like it. I'm just going to play this guy, and next turn we'll play this guy and this guy, and then we'll play this guy, and then we'll gain five, and then we'll go double attacks, and then we'll basically be dead. Out of everything, that is your question? <laughs> oh, well, dang it. Yeah, we're not going to play take hard here. Like, we could attack and they could block and we take hard, but that's nah, not the best use of a take hard. So. I think it is complicated. I tried to build decks, but I started playing 16 years ago and it's difficult because, you know, mechanics that are obvious for experienced players. Yeah, that's why the. Right. That's why the. Um, the intro decks and the planeswalker decks are a little easier to grasp because they. I think they have simpler cards. Did you check out your link? What was your link? Oh, in the Discord? Not yet. Not yet. Oh, look. No third land. No fourth land. That's good. That's nice. These forests are problematic. So we can make a 3-3 three, three world soul colossus? That seems less than ideal. If we play this guy, we also can't take heart. I feel like this deck wants one less forest, unfortunately. Fly casual, have a good night, buddy. No hard feelings about Avengers. <laughs> yeah, we'll just play this guy. And we'll use a red to do it, because... So this seems bad. I don't really want to block this at all. So I'm going to take it. And hopefully we'll win the race. I just want to win the race. What is happening right now? Radical idea. Sure. Plus one. You got it. Radical idea again. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. You got it. Well, that's not a land, unfortunately. So we could deal you six. Keep up one of these cards. Yep, not getting a fourth land. Still pretty rough. I was a bigger fan of getting a land. We can also attack for... Yep, wasn't sure if that was how that would work. I was hoping the mentor would go on the stack. But you have to target something and there's no legal targets, so I guess it just doesn't do that. Hmm. One, two, three, four. We can gain three and then just attack. Three, four, five. Or we can just keep up response. They go to 12. 
If we drew a land, we can actually hope to Resurgence next turn if they tapped out. Fwep? You mean Fibblethip? Eight, we put them to 10 and we go to 16. Three, four, five. I think this is actually fine. I don't think they can kill us. All right, this is a real, this is a real game. With the shadows of the night, and I think my you there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like what? Yeah, I'm still here, man. Thanks for checking. Do 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 do. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Like. All right, well, that's nice. Do any of these bros have trample? No. Actually, this puts us in great shape because we can gain four and kill their, like, an attacker of some sort. Um... Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. They have to block here, right? Hmm, not that guy. Alright, so we get to keep up a response here, which is nice. And they only have six on board, so they have to do an extra five. <laughs> oh, Finity, my cup runneth over. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yep, that's a good, that's a big, big. So this is eight, nine, I guess. I guess we'll just take nine. And then we'll kill this guy. Yep, you got it. I will take six and kill you. They made a sad face. They made the saddest of faces. It's unfair. <laughs> I got stuck on three, it's turn seven. Same. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, you figured it, you got it. You got it. All right, we did it. I couldn't tell if they were going to be crappy or not. All right, we are going to take one of the forests out for another white. Uh, so let's move you. Lands that produce white. Uh, lands that produce red. These are going to be lands that produce both. So I guess another red, actually. Okay. Seems good. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, you have open mana and no blockers. You should be dead. You don't. You shouldn't have a card in your hand that does a thing. I don't understand. I mean, they still said good game. And they made a sad face. Whenever you make an emoticon emoji in the chat, I always feel like you're not... Like, I feel like that's a friendly gesture, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I'll keep this hand. What are the odds we don't draw lands, guys? Come on. Here are some emoticon emojis. Those are some. You're right. Those are all old ones, too. Bitch jar! Hey, oh, you son of a biscuit. What if this is the mountain that should have been a forest? Oh, you Amara, you son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. I'm so mad right now. I have a, an immense amount of rage in my heart right, right at this moment. Burglar rat? I could not be angrier at this rat. She gotta go. Top deck forest, you ready? Top deck no land whatsoever, sounds good. Oh, I was actually gonna tap this because I was like, I'll just play this guy instead, but nope, we good. Are you mad, bro? I am so mad, bro. I am the maddest bro that there is. I am the maddest of bros. Use justice strike on the rat. I don't foresee myself doing that. I thought I have six here. Well, here we go. Gotta, gotta get up to get down. Gotta, gotta get up to get down. One, two, three, four. What does the zubadoo and the doobadoo doobadoo doo ch ch doobadoo doo doo Yep, this guy is not even. A, this is you can't even hit this guy. All right. Well. Hey, look at that. Couldn't hit a third land. Everybody's having a good time. How many lands do you have in your deck? 17. I have 17 lands in my deck. Isn't that amazing, guys? Do it. Surveil. I dare you. Why wouldn't you? Do yeah, you know what? Whatever. Okay. We're going to go to the next game, folks. We had a good we had a good game here. You'll see we had a little we had a good game. Every both sides played hard, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and that's that. Okay, let's just submit, because 17 lands should be enough, theoretically. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
<laughs> That's why you shuffle your cards so badly. Yeah, I ask myself that every day. So, oh look, I did it again. Well, he did it again. All right, chip it. Yep, this will be fine. This will do, because there's gonna be a Boros Guildgate right on the top. All right, well that's not it, but it's it's on the other top, the second top. It's gonna go Amara then Mountain, right? That's how we do. Okay, that wasn't either of the things I suggested, so I guess it's okay. We're just having a good time. Magic's just pulling a little goof on us. It's fine. 60% of the time, it happens all the time. Yep. You're doing good. You're doing very good. I'm very proud of you. Oh, one, a turn too late. A bridge too far. A turn too late and a bridge too far. We're still good at this game, right? Nah, it's rough. It's 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 hit or miss. Yep, didn't didn't foresee that living long. Okay, well it's okay. They only got the two power. They missed a land drop too. Look at us. We're doing look at all the things we're doing. Any land we can play Rosemane Centaur next turn, except for any of the four or five guild gates in our deck, so. Moto is a little biscuit. Oh, dang, I was like, let me block one of these guys. I guess we could have blocked here, couldn't we? But then if they have another dead weight, it's real bad. What were they going to do? Ooh, they look like they were going to play something. That's not a land. It's not a land at all, is it? That's how it'd sound if I was British. It's not a land, is it? Eh. Maybe. Maybe it's how it'd sound. Might as well get in there for one, right? What do I care? What are you going to do? Negative three, negative zero? Pfft. Who's even afraid of that? Oh, you're going you're gonna to bounce them? Yeah, that's what I thought you were going to do. Real mature. Everybody's doing a thing. Sometimes they're playing spells and lands. They put this in the graveyard, which is nice. Do we just get to win this game because they don't draw lands? Because <laughs> that's cool. That's a that's a thing I'm cool with. Although we're pretty far away from that, they are at twenty, and we don't really have a a, a, a solid plan in our hand, so. Yep, I had a feeling you had that, which is why we didn't want to block this guy last turn, but what are you going to do, you know? Hey, what are you going to do, you know? You, sometimes they got a little uh, little removal spell for you. I guess we'll just play the 4-4, four -four. and then we got the rock charger next turn, we can attack for the 5, and then uh, you put it in the air, you give it a little boof up into the space. I don't think you're gonna attack with this guy anymore. Oh, I didn't think so. It doesn't seem uh, it's not too smart if you know what I'm saying. All right, well we're doing good here. That's not a land. This is a land. And then we get to play Boros Tra Challenger. A Boros Challenger has emerged. I think we just won. I'm being presumptuous now, but I feel good about this game, guys. I feel good about this game that neither of us could really start playing until turn six. Yeah, no, ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. We could also just kill this guy with the, uh, the five. Five alive. We also have inescapable blaze in hand. <laughs> sure. Okay, well, that's a thing, isn't it? So we can attack with everything. None of these guys have trample, though. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Blaze is six. 
6 damage for 6 manas. This is also 3 to the dome, to the dome piece. Actually, we could have attacked with everything. We could have actually forged this guy and then just attacked with everything. That would have probably been better. Uh, wait, this is already going to trigger Mentor on a 1-3. Like, I don't have to pump first. So if they have another artful takedown, they can tap our they can kill our Rosemain Centaur, but we do have two pumps. And if they kill a rock charger, we can we can pump that guy too. Yeah, I think I almost like uh using this on this guy last turn and getting in with everybody because this is a two three, so they can't really double block. And then this would have been six, so it would have put them to nine instead. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure. Is this the third pump you're referring to? Because we only have two. I really want to shoot this guy, but I don't think it matters. The three damage to the face is probably more relevant. Well, let's go to the combat step and assume you have another artful takedown in your hand. And here we go. Oh, really? Fascinating. Hmm. Okay. That is fine. I kind of want to attack with Rosemain Centaur this turn, but we got to get rid of Hired Poisoner first. If you want to block this guy, if they don't block them, they're just dead to an escapable blaze when that when the time comes. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. I'm getting there. Uh, sure. A fine trade. You got a two? Seems good. Wow. Wow. So we can just play Resurgence, make this guy unable to block, attack with both... They go block, block, 
Attack with both, block, block. Yeah, that's not exciting. I mean, Resurgence, it would, it would let Resurgence take both of these guys out. Or we can just hit a land and kill them. Dang it! Biscuits! also just pump this guy and attack with two three fours but then they just block with three four and one four that doesn't do much we could go legionnaire it doesn't really do anything though because we have to wait till their blockers are declared and if we shoot one of our attackers Oh, no, I guess we play Legionnaire, we shoot one of our attackers and make this guy unable to block, right? Yeah, that's fine, we can do that. Yeah, that's pretty cute. That's super nice. That is a... That is a very subtle play. Let's go to the next game, Chief. I'm actually going to bring in... We saw Double Watcher and um, something else in Game 1 and Capture Sphere. I'm definitely bringing in uh, Crushing Canopy here. Pretty sneaky, sis. Crushing Canopy. We can take out the Bodyguard. Take out the Bodyguard. Cosmotronic Wave seems interesting, but not great. Hitchclaw Recluse also seems kind of fine. But I don't know what I'd cut for it. Maybe Hammer Dropper. Like, it blocks all the 3-4s. It blocks all their stupid idiots. I do have a question, which he probably already answered before. Fearsaurs, let's hear it. Can I still call you Fearsaurs? Because that's what I've always known you as. Did MeUndies contact you? Or I They contacted me. I haven't actually reached out to any, any sponsors. Sand's not terrible. We have a two drop and a three drop, and we only need red to make it work. So we'll just top deck a Boros Guildgate. It's a planes. I made a mistake, but that's okay. I'm tempted to just kill this guy, but I think that's pretty bad value. They can surveil if they want to. They can leave those friends behind. How much would it cost me to sponsor the... How would it cost me to I could get my head down in the sponsor area? I'd do that. We could. We can make that work. I thought you said you reached out to GoBots. No, GoBots reached out to me um, initially. And then I... Actually, I don't know how that worked. Maybe, they, maybe I did reach out to them first. But that was like four years ago. I'm actually looking at my email history right now to see if I can figure it out. Oh, maybe I did reach out to them. Yeah, this is back in this was actually 2016. This is not nearly none of the facts that I I've stated today are correct. It was 2016. And I was like, hey guys, can we can you sponsor me? And they were like, okay. And they've been super cool ever since. So if you guys do need to get MTGO cards, go to GoBots. They have been great and their prices are some of the 
lowest. I'm going to get rid of this bodyguard because that, that dude's hot garbage at this point. The hottest of garbage. Sure. <laughs> you got it. You got it. Give me a mountain. That's a red card, you stupid idiot. I'll block. See if you want to deadweight this guy too. You got double the dead weights? Double your dead weights, double your fun with the flavor of a dead weight double mint gun. Scuba do 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 One mountain, please. Having a good time. How does the GoBot sponsorship work? Do you just get discounted rates? Do you just rent? I can I can borrow whatever cards I want. Which is extremely helpful when streaming. And creating magic content. And playing other people's crazy decks. Crazy wacky decks. I feel like we'd be in really good shape if we could hit like one red and one one green i feel like that's not uh too much to ask for even though it is a three color deck like it's not a lot to ask for in a in a game of magic the gathering <laughs> yeah hunger howie should definitely sponsor me i agree with you sure man where's the cosmotronic wave now it's the same place as your mountains idiot oh for f come on dude Ugh. Oh, hungry Howie Bond. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know what? Sure. What does it matter? You get one extra point of damage in. Actually, you get a bunch more. I don't care. I'm so mad. I'm just... Just frustrated. They have two cards. Like, we're not even that far behind, but like... It's just one one power dot deck over here. Oh, for crying out loud. This is ridiculous. This is not real. 14 cards, 3 lands, and they're all planes. Do I even have more than 3 planes in the deck? I think I might have 4 planes in the deck. I think that's where we're at. I mean, 100% blocking here because... 3 damage a turn is significantly more than 2 damage a turn when you're in this position. Oh, wow. You can just get right the hell out of here. Mountain on the top would be good, because then we can play 2 bodies. And this guy actually brings us back in the game, so... Unless they start playing Watchers in the in the, in the the wind. Watchers in the window. Yep, go to 8. This is just normal, I guess. Yep, that's a thing. Still can't cast a single card. <sighs> Three, four, five, six. Yeah, oh, we're just done here. Actually, no, we can cast the Amara. Never mind. I wish this said gain life equal to each attacking creature. Why does it have to be you control? Like, it's such a better card if they can, like, oh, if they attack for five, you gain five. Maybe that's too good. What are you going to do now? She dead anyway. God. 
This was this was bad. Like, because if we hit any land, we could have locks it on restored and had a guy. Um, but now she's just gonna die. I just don't want to take a million. I'd rather just block the spinal centipede. Yeah, this is just a two for one. Then get a counter on some some nonsense. Red mana. Red mana off the top that doesn't come in tapped. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Two, three, four. We're actually not dead. Red mana that doesn't come into play tapped. Here's a Boros Guildgate. Q SpongeBob meme. <sighs> if we hit another land, gaining four is not bad. However, they have three cards in hand, and they're probably going to play a big three, four, full. No, they didn't play anything, so they probably have a counter spell. And it's another land that comes into play tapped. Because, of course, it is. So we're basically dead. We can block here. Yep, we're dead. That's great. Three planes. How many are on the deck? Let's find out. Let's find out. Four planes. We drew 75% of the planes in the deck. We have five mountains in the deck. I'm out of spray cheese and still have five crackers left. Boy, some guys have all the luck. Or none of the luck. Or all of none of the luck. Think about it. We're lucky all the guys are little nerds who probably didn't get invited to any parties. I don't know if that makes us lucky, per se. But, uh... We did get crushed. By 1-1s and 1-4s and 1-3s. So. Keep. Snap keep. Sneep. Sneeples. McMeeples. I also never have spray cheese because that would require purchasing it and keeping it in my house. And I can't think of a single reason I'd want to do that. <laughs> what was the last concert I attended? Um, it was probably Jawbreaker in Brooklyn this year, actually. Oh, this Amara's going off. Yeah, Blake Schwarzenbach has taught English for a while at Hunter University in New York. I don't know if he still does, but he definitely did for a while. This Amara is busting off. <laughs> I'm tempted to just kill this guy because... because reasons because if we're going to just pump her it's probably just better to kill this guy and gain the life and then deal the damage so I feel like that's correct what did you get? just the planes? okay a school for all the good boys <laughs> oh Hunter University yeah, he started his own university because he was, uh, you know what? I don't know why he did, but he did. And that's the important thing. Oh, that's a good boy. I feel like we're in good shape here. We're just making a million dudes, getting a million life. Making the dudes in the world today takes everything you got. That's Cheers. That's the Cheers song, in case you guys didn't know.
Oh, kitty cat. Oh, kitty cat. It's a kitty cat kind of day. Well, now we're killing that guy with our Indrick. And then we're just alf alfing. Alfing. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a big boy. We're going to fight. We're going to lose one, but it's fine. The alternative is not attacking with any of them. I'd rather deal an extra two points and lose one than not do that. Yeah, Amaro's made four dudes so far. Got in a million damage and we were at 33. Shorter than normal? What are you talking about? Explain. Remember that time Elk Tears was like, hey, I'll donate a dollar so you can, uh, if you make yourself 5% as big and, and then we just did the whole thing like that? That's good times. So now they can block two, so they take four, five, six, seven, but they have four cards in hand. That's a lot. They can't pump yet, though. Plus three, plus three is rough, but it only gets rid of one dude. So if you block here, block here, you're still taking four. Yeah, we'll do it. A pump spell would be nice instead of a one, two, three, four, five, an eighth land, but... Keep in mind, I've only drawn five spells in eight lands. Oh, that's a good one. So you take six and go to five. And you kill my guy. So you take two. That seems better. All right. Well, they collared the culprit, all right. The culprit has been collared. Yep, that's a big boy. Oh, that's a good dude. So if we attack with everything, you go block here, block here, you take one, two, three, four, five. Actually, we can make this guy. You're going to block here, you'll take three, four, five, you'll go to four. I guess we can actually just go in with this. Seems fine. Aren't you afraid that your propensity to play well will be thwarted by your diminutive status? No, no. I have no insecurities when it comes to my diminutive status, good sir. I think my play skill and my my stature are two completely separate things. Nature's little treasure. Good luck, buddy. Don't tell her about the poop stains, okay? I believe in you. Yep, this is all, this is all just fine. I can't see a reason not to do it on this guy. It's the same situation as last turn where, like, we're still probably not attacking with this, but... Actually, if we jump, you're going to block, block. You take one, two, three, four, five. You go to two. So I think we just put a counter on one of these other guys. You can block here. You'll block a one, one. You'll take one, two, three, four, five. You go to two. Yeah, that seems fine. Actually, you can go block 2-2, two, two, block him, and then you take 3. So actually, we have to put the counter on here, unfortunately. Maybe that's not unfortunate. Maybe that's the correct thing to do. Yep, that's how we saw it. You go to, f go to 2. Um... Yeah, because if we put the counter on one of these guys, they could have actually just blocked the 2-2. Two, two. They would have... Or blocked the... Yeah, blocked the 2-2, two, two, and then they would have taken one less and went to three, and then we actually don't have lethal. So I'd like to, to just force them to deal with the Sky Knight Legionnaire. 
Didn't see any flyers or enchantments that I'm really concerned with. I think this seems fine. Justice Strike is really good against the um, the Celestia decks because all the creatures are pretty symmetrical. Oh, this is Justice Strike the Stop Hitting Yourself card. That's what it, that's what it is. Stop hitting yourself. This is interesting. Any white source, and I think we're okay. We can also play two of our cards, so I'll keep this. No, we couldn't tell Mike we got we ate his pot pie because actually he ended up seeing the clip that we got two whole chickens instead, so we weren't able to facilitate the meme. Okay, well, it's still okay. We can play this guy into this guy, and we have this trick. We're good. We're good. We're doing okay. Or this guy into either of these. Oh, give me that life. Sweet, sweet justice. Did you eat Mike B's chicken? No, there's still a whole chicken in the fridge that I have not eaten yet. Which is pretty ridiculous. And a whole thing of uh, cream spinach as well. For lunch today, I did have the a cream spinach and some mac and cheese, so that was pretty nice. Oh man, getting aggressive. Yep, that's not what we wanted, but I guess that's fine. That's life, my friend. That is life. We'll get in there. You're going to block pump? Seems good. Yeah, but you guys have uh, uh, you guys have Ezels in Seattle, which is pretty sick. I miss Ezels. Get some spicy tenders. Oh God, oh God! One one white man, and we are just so far ahead. Thank you, Deckums. Popeyes is greater than Azel's? Just stop it. Just stop it. I'll choose this guy. Kerwit. You're going to get banned. <laughs> Peace out, Kerwit. Popeyes is better than Azel's and Hammond's. Wow. Ezel's is way better than Popeye's. Fight me. Did you ever go to Thai Tom in the U District? No, I didn't. I actually, no, I never went to... I have a problem with Thai food because I don't eat a lot of... I don't eat seafood. Um, and a lot of Thai food has fish and oyster sauce, which is just weird to me. So whenever I find a vegetarian place, a vegetarian Thai place that does not use fish or oyster sauce, I rejoice. Oh, this is great that you play this guy now because now I feel better about playing this. Spicy, spicy boy. One thing we can do here, which is nice, is play this and kill the 3-3 three, three, and then attack. Nah. Meh. <laughs> no. I don't I can't tell what you're upset about. My tie uh, thing or uh, the person who made his L's made a. Yeah, I know, I, yeah, I know about. Uh, I know about Heaven Sent. 
I mean, maybe Azels has gone down in quality, but it's still very good. So suck on them eggs, egg sucker. Got them. All right, or we can plus here, attack for five, and then pump this guy and make one of these unable to block. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Let's do that. And we get Parhelion Patrol so we can... Yeah. Did we do it? I don't want to waste the three, though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, we were going to do this and kill this guy. And then this guy would be able to block so we could do this. But then it wouldn't, it wouldn't get another Mentor. So we're just going to cast Integrity on you. Make you unable to block and then we're just gonna get in there for like a thousand or nine number nine number nine you just take nine that's all right by me and I got an Indrik next turn if we hit a land what are these eggs you speak of uh, well, you see, you know, I don't know, but they're supple and smooth and everybody wins. Oh, look how aggressive. It's eight, nine, nine damage. I'll take nine back. I'm about to citywide bust. This is an aggressive attack back, I think. No blocks. Alright. They gotta have some kind of shenanigans here, right? Um, yeah, I guess we'll do this. This guy onto you. Some kind of nonsense? What kind of nonsense are you gonna send my way? I would also go for Chick-fil-A as well. Which is why the Chick-fil-A in Bellevue had a line around the block every single time you'd go there in Washington. March of the Multitudes would be pretty good here, but I don't know why you'd attack. I'd probably just wait and make three more tokens. Maybe. Nine damage is probably worth it. That three less. One, two, three, four, five. Five tokens. That's pretty good. Yeah, I remember getting off the interstate to go to Mox Boarding House, and you could, like... You would just run into uh, the Chick-fil-A traffic. Yeah, I used to go to Shane's all the time. Shane's is great. I still love Shane and Becky and and Tom. Those guys are... That was by far one of my favorite... My favorite shops and my favorite people in, uh, in Renton. Alright, so now you're gonna... You didn't do anything there. That's fascinating. I'm just going to play Hammer Dropper, I guess. Hammer Dropper! That's fine. Say what? Hammer Dropper! Ooh -hoo. Oh, we met at a Shane's pre-release! That's awesome! I had no idea! Mostly because you probably didn't introduce yourself as Envious X, however. You play your... How many Seattle dudes are in the chat? That's so hilarious, man. How did I not know you guys when I was there? That's so funny, dude. Envious you. I would have been like, oh, dang. I have an Envious X in my chat. Any relation? No, the Envious Xs and the Envious Us are like the Hatfields and McCoys of Magic, unfortunately. Unfortunately. 
I don't think I ever been to they. Oh, I thought it was March. Okay, it was actually just uh, assemble. Are we dead? We're at twelve. Block, block. Take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If they have plus three of some sort, then we're in bad shape. But otherwise, I think we can make do. They have to have a plus three, which is not super common in red. Or they have to get rid of one of our guys, one of our blockers. Both of those are not... And I said red, I meant, I meant Celestia. I don't know why I said red, but... Yeah, Shane's is great, dude. I actually miss Shane. Shane was great. Shane himself and Becky. Both of those guys were fantastic. And I like... Uh, I love Ben and Steven as well, so everyone who worked everyone who worked at Shane's was wonderful. Shout out to Shane Sports Cards and Renton. Alright, we're going to combat. Ew, you're skinny. What's going on, buddy? Tiny Frank says hello. Tiny Frank says hello. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is lethal, so we have to block. Block you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't think you have a plus three, plus three. We might just take this. Like, we have six mana, so we can get rid of the Crawl Harpooner. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, I feel like if they had a pump spell, they would have used it. So, yep, they, that should be game. That is going to be the game, huh? Oh no! Wait, because we got rid of this guy. Never mind. We're, that's not game yet. We might be. We, are we dead still? I don't know. Ah, oh, I forgot it wasn't game. Dang it! Yes. I, oh dang it! We should have just not blocked. Yeah, I forgot about that. We're still not dead. We have three. We have three. Yeah, they have. They have one top deck too. Otherwise, they double block here, and I don't think that's a good trade. We get we get the good blocks. Josh, I didn't know you're in San Francisco. That's pretty sick. That is a uh, significantly pricey place to be. So glad you can glad you're doing glad you're doing well for yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch, Patreon, and if you need new underwear or undergarments or tees or lounge pants or socks out of the most comfortable micromodal you'll ever feel. You can check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. Link is in the description below, and you get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And uh, definitely, it supports the stream, it supports me, it supports you, and everybody wins. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Really appreciate it.